Dear President Lincoln, 150 years ago, you were asked to give a simple speech to honor the fallen of the Union. Fourscore and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty, and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. You did more, amplifying your speech and changing America's view of the Civil War. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation, or any nation so conceived and so dedicated, can long endure. In 2013, Minnesota students were invited to offer a reply to President Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Based on his essay, Joshua Hamill of Rochester was one of several students invited to travel to Pennsylvania as part of the Minnesota contingent for the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg. The point of the Dear President Lincoln contest was to write a essay in 300 or fewer words, a response to President Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, describing how his address had impacted the nation. With broad perspective, you define the vast conflict within this country not as a sectional conflict, but as a test of democracy that would change the course of history. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. You personally helped permanently free all American slaves, and freedom marched onwards even after your death. This nation is an ongoing test. Sometimes we have blundered, but we have not fallen. We, here, highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. I deeply hope that my generation will have the courage and conviction needed to uphold this government in the tests to come.